Market segmentation is the first step in selecting target markets and is widely accepted as one of the key elements in modern marketing and strategy development. A market consists of actual and potential buyers of a product or service who have the ability and willingness to buy and the wants and needs which can be satisfied through an exchange relationship. Market segmentation is the process where the market is divided into subgroup of customers where members of each subgroup share certain similarities. Market segment is the subgroup identified as a result of the segmentation exercise. Members of each group have similar needs and purchase behavior. A target market is a subgroup of customers which the firm chooses and develops specific marketing offerings for. If we take the automotive industry as an example, a market would be all people looking to buy a vehicle. Following a market segmentation process, few distinct market segments can be identified. In this case, we might identify segments like families and singles. Based on information collected through market research, we can identify that the family market segment has flexible but somewhat basic transportation needs. They need a combination of people and cargo carrying capabilities. Safety and quality are the most important to these fairly price sensitive buyers. The singles market segment on the other hand may be young and have more disposable income to spend on transportation. Singles have a wide variety of transportation needs. Style and performance are most important to the segment. Vehicle classes that may be of particular interest include sports and youths. If our organization only manufactures sports cars, a singles market is most likely going to be chosen as our target market based on information from our segmentation study. Segmentation is a recommended step in marketing strategy as it provides a range of benefits to companies that use the segmentation approach. A segmentation exercise will give its users a fresh look at their core markets as well as an improved understanding of the needs and wants which in turn can lead to increased sales and customer satisfaction. Segmentation enables organizations to identify the customers wants and needs and develop products that best match them. Product benefits can be emphasized through more targeted advertising using more appropriate media to enhance message delivery. Segmenting the market enables organizations to better match the company's strengths and capabilities with the market requirements. By doing so, users can maximize the use of their resources to gain a competitive advantage. Companies cannot satisfy all potential customers all the time. Using segmentation procedures, companies can focus on satisfying those segments that they assess to be the most attractive for their products. Once an attractive segment has been identified, an appropriate marketing mix can be developed. If we continue using the example from the automotive industry, it is easy to see how knowing that style and performance are important attributes for the singles market segment can help the company develop their marketing strategy. There are many ways to segment a market. A few common methods documented in literature include geographic segmentation, demographic segmentation, psychographic segmentation, and behavioral segmentation. For every product sold, organizations need to decide on useful segmentation variables for dividing the market into homogeneous groups, each with different sets of wants and needs. Companies may, for example, want to target customers in urban areas as opposed to rural areas, families as opposed to singles, high income individuals as opposed to low income. Returning to our example of the automotive industry, geographic variables could be used for automotive manufacturers where people living in the countryside might be considered as being a more attractive target segment for four-wheel drive cars. Demographic variables may also be used wherein younger customers may be considered more attractive for small or budget cars. A good example of the application of psychographic variables used in the industry may be where status brands like Mercedes and BMWs are sold or targeted to the upper class individuals. Finally, 
Behavioral variables like benefits sought from a product may also be used for segmenting the market. Segments need to be large enough to be profitable. For example, an automotive manufacturer will probably not be successful if focusing on making cars specifically for left-handed people. Making cars for larger families, on the other hand, might be more successful. Segments need to be accessible in terms of communications, media and distribution. If segments identified do not use the internet, do not read the newspaper or listen to the radio, or do not watch the TV, targeting is unlikely to be successful. Marketers need to be able to develop programs for attracting and serving the segments. For example, people that do not hold a driver's license would in most cases not be considered good segments to target. Size and characteristics of the segment need to be measurable. Marketers need to know something about the segment to be able to assess whether it could be profitable as a target segment. You need to be able to distinguish between segments and they need to respond differently to different marketing mix elements. For example, if middle-aged single men and middle-aged married men do not respond differently to sales on sports cars, they do not constitute separate segments. After having assessed the substantiality, measurability and other variables mentioned earlier, companies need to match segments with a number of other factors. Considerations will need to be given to what the company's capabilities are, for example, can the company manufacture family vehicles or do resources available only allow for the production of sports cars? If the company has the know-how and resources to make sports cars, the recommended decision might be to do so. Given that the target segment is after sports vehicles, is large enough and willing to pay the right price. Competition can affect the company's decisions, especially when entering new markets. If making family cars is a part of the company's long-term objectives and competition is not fierce, then doing so might be considered a more feasible option. In this presentation, we have presented what is segmentation, how to segment the market, and how to assess and select the most appropriate target segment as part of the company's marketing strategy.